In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The love of God, the grace of our Lord Jesus, and the power and the strength of the Holy Spirit be with you. We pause for a moment as we prepare to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, to you, my brothers and sisters, that and I have greatly sinned sin. in, in, in my thoughts and my words, what, and I, have what done, I have done, what I failed to do. To do. Through my through fault, my through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, Therefore I ask, I Blessed Mary, ever virgin, virgin, all the ages of saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who have made the blood of martyrs the seed of Christianity, mercifully grant that the field, which is your church, watered by the blood, shed by St. Charles Lawanga and his companions, may be fertile and always yield your abundant harvest. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives with you in the Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Peter. Beloved, may grace and peace be yours in abundance through knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. His divine power has bestowed on us everything that makes for life and devotion through the knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and power. Through these, he has bestowed on us the precious and very great promises, so that through them you may come to share in the divine nature. After escaping from the corruption that is in the world because of evil desire. For this very reason, make every effort to supplement your faith with virtue virtue with knowledge, knowledge with self-control, self-control with endurance, endurance with devotion, devotion with mutual affection, mutual affection with love. The word of the Lord. Amen. Our responsorial psalm. In you, my God, I place my trust. In you, my God, I place my trust. You who dwell in the shelter of the Most High, who abide in the shadow of the Almighty, say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. In you, my God, I place my trust. Because he clings to me, I will deliver him. I will set him on high because he acknowledges my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in distress. In you, my God, I place my trust. I will deliver him and glorify him. With links of days, I will gratify him and will show him my salvation. In you, my God, I place my trust.
The Lord be with you. <clears throat> From the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus began to speak to the chief priests, the scribes, and the elders in parables. And he told a story. A man planted a vineyard, put a hedge around it, dug a wine press, and built a tower. And he leased it out to tennis farm to tenant farmers and left on a journey. At the proper time, he sent a servant to the tenants to obtain his share of the grapes. But they seized him, they beat him, sent him away empty-handed. Again, the owner of the vineyard sent another servant. And this one they beat over the head and treated shamefully. He sent another one, and yet they killed him. So too many others, some they beat, others they killed. He had only one to send, that was his own son, thinking they will respect him. But these tenants said to one another, here's the one who inherit everything. Come, let us kill him, and the inheritance will be ours. So they seized the son, killed him, and threw him out in the vineyard. After he finished the telling the parable, Jesus said, what do you think the owner of that vineyard will do? He will come and put the tenants to death and give the vineyard to those others. Have you not read the scripture, the stone that builders rejected has become the cornerstone? But the Lord has this been done and it is wonderful to see. They were seeking to arrest Jesus, because, but they feared the crowd. They realized he addressed the parables, speaking about them. They left him and went away. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Of course, Jesus was telling the story about he himself, who had been rejected and spurned and mocked and criticized for the way he lived and the things that he did, especially on the Sabbath. <clears throat> the psalm response is a wonderful, uh, a wonderful mantra, if you will, for all of us. And for Jesus, it was certainly a, <clears throat> a mantra that he lived, by which he lived. In my trust, O oh God, in, in, in you, O oh God, I place my trust. That was evident on the Mount of Olives when he said, Lord, take this cup from me, but not my will, but your wills, the trust that he had in God. And then on the cross, in your hands, Lord, I commend my spirit. So Jesus felt rejection, and I know that we probably all know that feeling. But I think the words from the psalm response, in you, my God, I place my trust. Times that maybe we feel rejected, or maybe we feel dejected, or things that maybe are disappointment to us. This responsorial psalm is a wonderful mantra. In you, my God, I place my trust. May these be the words that maybe we speak today in the times that maybe we feel alone. In you, my God, I place my trust. Let us pray. We pray, O oh God, that the fruits of the talks between Israel and Hamas may take place and a plan of peace may be a reality. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. In these summer days, we pray for those on vacation traveling for safety and travel. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord Bob Swides, you remember this parish for many years who passed away this past year. We pray to the Lord for the blessings of God upon our families, those maybe preparing for the gift of marriage or maybe those who might be with child, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. In silence, we, we add our own petitions. We pray to the Lord. Hear us, O God, and bless us for what we ask in faith. We receive through Christ our Lord. 
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have received the one we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Forever. Pray, my friends, that are offering our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. Will the Lord accept the sacrifice And from your priestly hands as well. We offer you this sacrifice, O Lord, as we humbly pray that as you granted the blessed martyrs uh, the grace, the grace of martyrdom and the witness they gave to the faith, so too you may bring us to minister at your altar in love of you through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is right always and everywhere to give you thanks and praise to your beloved Son, Jesus the Christ. He is the word through whom you made the universe the Savior sent to redeem us. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he took flesh and was born of the Blessed Mother. And for our sake, he opened his arms on the cross and put an end to death. And this he fulfilled your will and won for your holy people. Now with the saints and angels in heaven, we join with them our voices to give you praise and honor as we proclaim. Holy, 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 Lord of God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Father, you're holy indeed, and all creation rightly gives you praise. All life of holiness comes from you through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, by the working of the Holy Spirit. From age to age, you, you gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a perfect offering may be made to the glory of your name. And so, Father, we bring you these gifts. We ask you to make them holy by the power of your Spirit, they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At his command, we celebrate the sacred mysteries. On the night he was betrayed, he took the gift of bread and he gave you thanks and praise. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples and said, take this all of you and eat it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. The meal was over knowing that he was to bring all people to himself in the blood of the cross. Jesus took the, the cup of wine, he blessed it, broke it, gave it to, blessed it, and gave it to his disciples and said, take this, all of you drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all for the forgiveness of sin. And do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. When we eat, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And look forward to his coming again. We offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. 
We humbly pray that upon the offering of your church that you look with kindness upon our offering, recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to you. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an everlasting gift to you, that we may attain an inheritance with all your saints, especially with the company of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, and all the saints, and all those who's on whose constant intercession we rely for help. And in the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. The Holy Father and Shepherd, Pope Francis, our Bishop James, and those who minister in the church and for all your people. Listen graciously to the prayers of the family you've gathered here before you. In your compassion, O loving God, gather to yourself all the children scattered throughout the world. And we pray, too, for our departed brothers and sisters and all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life. Grant kind admittance to your kingdom. And there in the kingdom we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through your Son, Jesus, through whom you give us everything that is good. I pray we offer through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor are yours forever and ever. Amen. Uh, for the coming of the kingdom, we pray in the words that Jesus gave us. Our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us and not, us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. Protect us from needless anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. O Lord Jesus, you said your apostles would give to them the gift of peace. Look not on our sins, but the faith we express. Grant to us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the risen Lord be with you. May we share with each other a sign of Christ. Lamb of God, you take the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, grant us Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sin of the world. How blessed are we to be invited to the supper of the Lamb. With the body and blood of our Lord Jesus, bring us to everlasting life.
the body of Christ, the body of Christ. The body of Christ comes to us. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Pray the body of Christ. 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 The body of Christ is the arm of the body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ that is. The body of Christ. The body of Christ that is. Martin and Larry, the body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Thank you, the body of Christ. The body of Christ, John. Amen. The body of Christ. Thank you. Let us pray. Lord, we have celebrated memory and the martyrdom of St. Charles and his companions. Lord, may by our offering today remind us that we too each day and each moment we give witness to the living Christ, the bread of life. We pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen. You might have noticed the groceries that the parish are donating to Seton Center, and I thought I saw the truck pull up, so any assistance you could give be most appreciated. The Lord be with you. May God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us go now in peace, the love and serve the Lord. You might uh, remember the priests of uh, Kansas are on retreat this week, so think of them in prayer as well. Have a great day.